Hi, this is Christine from Christine's Creations. Today I'm going to show you how I made this 80s boombox DJ booth. Uh, it was a decoration for a friend's 40th birthday party that was 80s themed. It seemed like a fun little touch to have this with a DJ behind it. Um, all in all, it cost me about $120 to make. That's including all the supplies, so all the wood, all the vinyl, all the spray paint. Um, everything on the front is actually pretty much dollar store items, so I tried to do it as inexpensively as possible. Um, you could probably do it for a little bit cheaper if you had some of those supplies on hand. So here's a tour of the boombox I made. As you can see, it's about six feet wide. It's actually kind of a facade around a table. So I can show you here my very ugly six foot table at the back. So we've got kind of what I was calling a box top on the top that has struts going across it. And then this bottom thing here really is just a facade that can pull away from the table that just wraps around. So a lot of what's on the front are just dollar store um, items. So if we start with the big main speakers here, these are just uh, dollar store hoops. So I picked these up for a dollar, took off the, uh, the pattern around them and spray painted them silver. And then I added this mesh like this that I spray painted pink to make it look like a speaker. And then I have card underneath black and blue and pink card. Um, and then what was wrapped around is this stuff is um, like a draft excluder kind of sealant thing you can get from Home Depot that actually sticks on. And I just spray painted that blue to go around. And then these um, uh, grill marks, I guess, I don't know what to call them. Um, they're just made out of cut vinyl. And then the next dollar store item here is these speakers up top. These are just pink plastic plates from the dollar store. Um, added the same mesh and card effect. And then I added these lights, these LED lights that I got from Amazon around. There's just a little hole underneath here that goes back. And then they're just battery operated. Oops, let's see if you can see it. Ah, there we go. <laughs> um, so you can change colors there. The cat is desperate to be in this video. Sorry about that. Um, then other dollar store items. This is just the top of a water jug. I spray painted silver, added the same foam around it, and then added some of the, um, the pink mesh as well. These uh, knobs here are actually just, uh, this is a pickle jar lid that I spray painted. These are water bottle lids. And then, so basically just spray painted and then I added um, the vinyl kind of marking um, and a little design around there to make it look kind of like a volume knob. Okay, yes, you're in the video. <laughs> um, the boombox sign here, I just designed this. I found a font online that was an 80s style font and so I had this cut out of vinyl with my Cricut. Um, this is a piece of wood um, that I spray painted blue and then I designed this, I basically just found an image online that kind of showed how the separation of all of the different um, frequencies um, and then designed that in Cricut. Um, and the wood is just some balsa wood, I think, that I got from Michael's. I just used the size that it came. Oh, and here's examples of some of the bottle caps I used. Actually, didn't these were off cuts I didn't bother using. Off cuts, that's not the right word. Um, rejects, I guess. Um, these ones I did use, they were um, uh, sparkling water bottle caps that I spray painted in different colors. Um, let's see. Oh, so this is my favorite bit is the equalizer. Um, so this was a letter tray that I got for a few dollars at Target. Um, and so this is the back side of the letter tray. Basically, I designed this um, in Cricut to be a vinyl cutout that's kind of got that sky skyscraper design. Um, and then behind that, it's, um, it's a bunch of bubble wrap, basically to diffuse the light. So it's, it's Christmas lights, um, that are going off and obviously the bars aren't going up and down, but the way that the lights are flashing kind of gives that illusion a little bit, um, which I love. And then the bottom one here, the cassette 
area is the same letter tray. Um, the um, the cassette tape is actually 3D printed. I didn't want to just make it design. I want it to have that three-dimensional quality. Um, so here's an example of a prototype I made. Here we go. Um, in the 3D printer of just a regular size tape um, to test it out. And then I made it kind of four times the size or something a bit more than that. Um, and I designed the, the label to go on it with a Cricut. It's just different layers of vinyl. Um, and then these are just little wooden, um, um, <laughs> what would you call them? Knobs? They're not knobs. Uh, <laughs> the buttons, I don't know what you call them. The buttons for a play and record and so on. So these are just, um, they're wood. I spray painted them silver, but you can see the wood grain. So I put a vinyl covering over them and then stole the, uh, found these online. Um, the little markers for that. Um, what else to show you? I can show you just the inside of this. So these ladder trays were a little bit too deep. Um, so we actually ended up cutting a hole in this front wood. Um, so you can see back here, it really is just a facade that goes around this table. Um, and so they're sticking out as a bunch of duct tape holding things in place. Not the most glamorous. Um, and then this wood is just, um, five millimeter thick underlayment. It comes, I got it at Home Depot. It was about $18 for a eight foot by four foot piece. I needed two of them, but I had them cut it to size. Uh, basically six foot wide to go around the table. I think it's 30 inches high for the, um, the bottom piece. And then this box top was an extra 12 inches high and it's just 12 inches deep um, to go around the side of my table. The idea basically being to be a DJ boom box and then the DJ actually has space but the fact that I didn't close this box off and just had it be on the two sides so there's space for the DJ to put stuff there and um, this metal here is um it's aluminum I always say aluminium I'm British but aluminum um foil tape I just got on Amazon it was like two dollars where is it here we go it's just two dollars a roll I think I used whoop, I use like maybe three rolls, I'm thinking, um, to just go around the edge um, and to separate off the different sections. Let me take a step back so you can see. There is the finished product. And the lights up top actually have different modes. So I have them set to blue right now, but you can have them set to go with the music and different colors and so on, which is kind of fun. So this boom box was so much fun to make. It was probably one of the most fun projects I worked on the whole of last year. Just having this vision of what I wanted and actually trying to bring it to life was really, really fulfilling when I managed to pull this off. Um, the other cool thing about it is that it's transportable. So we measured the car to see what it could actually accommodate. And then we, we designed this specifically so it could fit between the seats in the car. So it's actually transportable, unlike some of my other bigger decorations, which are a pain to actually get around from A to B. Um, the one thing I did learn though is that most of these things were glued on with hot glue which I know is not really ever a permanent glue and so when I put it in the car a couple of the knobs fell off so always handy to bring your hot glue gun with you uh, to fix as you may need. But anyway, there you go. Hope you enjoy it and oh my god.